Hello again, friends. Um, Mr. Munoz here reading some more books to you guys. Uh, I am choosing to read some books that follow a certain theme. And uh, I'm I chose this book because it involves a friend who is um, who has a problem. And he is looking to write a friendly letter to try to persuade some people to see if he can, if somebody could help him out. Uh, it said, so the description of the book says, Can one of Arfie's letters... Help him find a home. This is the story, Can I Be Your Dog? Written and illustrated by Troy Cummings. So I hope you enjoy the book, and at the end I'll talk a little bit more about it. You see Arfie on there? He's writing a, he's writing a letter. He says, Can I Be Your Dog? Dear people at the Yellow House, Wolf, can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arfie. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I ask you first. See the mail person delivering the mail to the house, to the mailbox. Looks like he got a letter back. Uh oh. He doesn't look too too positive. Dear Arfie, we're so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is um allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search, the honey whales. Oh. Looks like he's a little sad and anxious about that. On to the next one. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Signed, Arfie. The Chop Chop Butcher Shop. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Signed, Veronica Shank, Butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets, and good luck finding a home. Nom, 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 nom. Still looks a little sad, but at least he got a snack out of it. On to the next one. Dear Fire Station number five. Can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street. And yours is the shiniest. Signed, Arfie. There's the mail carrier again, delivering the mail. Butternut Street Fire Station. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of Fire Dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Station number five. Uh-oh. Looks like Arfie didn't really appreciate that letter very much, did he? Dear Junkyard Guy, I'm not going to lie. You're my next to last choice. But these past few days have been rough. Rough, rough, rough. So, please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much. And I can bark if people are, try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfie. You think he's going to have good luck there? Dear Mutt, get lost. Uh-oh. Poor Arfie looks sad and broken up. Dear Last House on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell. 
but I'm not picky, just lonely. Do you think anybody lived there? Lives there? Return to sender. Nobody at this address. That means there's nobody there. Poor Arfi, he's feeling sad. He's got a problem. He's got nowhere to keep him safe and dry out of the rain. So, I guess he's just stuck out in the rain, living in his cardboard box. Oh? What's this? It says, to Arfie. It's like Arfie got a letter. He did, he got a letter. It says, Dear Arfie, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first-class partner. With hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple. Mail Carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the Big Blue Mailbox. The mail carrier wants to be his person. So there's Butternut Street. Nope, that's a different street. But there's the big blue mailbox and the mail carrier. Do you see Arfie? She's waiting for him. See, let's see if he shows up. Yes, there he is. With his letter in tow. And lots of love and head scratches. It's like he wrote her a letter back. It says, Dear Mincy, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfie. P.S. Woof! Scratch, 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 scratch. There's Butternut Street. The Yellow House. The Butcher Shop. The Fire Department. The junkyard and the last house on Butternut Street. Looks like he's got a new street that he can travel on. Let's read the note at the end. It says, here's how you can help a hopeless animal. Adopt a shelter animal instead of buying a pet. Volunteer at a shelter or a pet adoption event. Spay or neuter your pet so there will be fewer fur babies to find a home for. Donate to your local animal shelter or a national animal advocacy group such as American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty of Animals and the Humane Society. Extend a helpful paw so all our animal friends can find forever homes. Signed, Arfie. So that was the book. Can I Be Your Dog, written and illustrated by Troy Cummings. I chose this book because it shows how it, sometimes if you've got a problem, you can choose to do something about it, and uh, maybe you can write a letter and persuade somebody to see if they can help you solve your problem. Or perhaps you can just write a letter to somebody and, uh, and make a friend and maybe correspond with them and, and write letters back and forth, like in some of the other stories that I've read. So I'm challenging you guys to write a letter and uh, see if you can persuade somebody to help you with some problem that you might have. Or just maybe write somebody a letter that you want to be friends with. So I hope you like the story. Um, if you like this story and if you would like to hear more stories, please come back. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, I'm not sure, maybe you can send me a message and uh, any, any requests. Um, I don't have a whole lot of whole lot of books, so, so I'm kind of just limited to what I've got. So if you've got anything you would like to hear me read or, or see me read, 
uh, please shoot, shoot me a message and uh, and we'll see what I can do. Until next time, I will see you guys later and uh, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.